Hey guys, welcome to a video of mine. And let me just clean this up. If you saw the title, you're probably seeing this right now. It's a tutorial on how to make one of these automatic totem farmers. And they are really, really helpful. Because as you can just see, I got a couple of stuff if you rewatch the video. I got a decent amount of stuff while I was AFK. And this is a tutorial on how to make one and what you need to make one. So it works. It's working 100%. Um, I don't know. It might get updated if you're watching this in the future. Hello there. But I don't know. So basically how this works is you're seeing it right now. The totems put in items into this as if they were harvesting it, and then it goes to there. Speaking of harvest, let me harvest this. Okay, I'm going off topic. What you're going to need is an industrial chest and a conveyor. And if you're wondering, it has to be the direction in. Otherwise, it goes the opposite direction. So, that is the starting. To get to this point, you're going to need it, um, a lot of stuff, a tier 3 workbench, but I'm just going to talk about how to get it from start. But if this is really all you need, this is the layout that you do, and if this is how you want, if you already have the materials needed, then this is just how you do it. I'm not going to build it or stuff, but you can see right here on how it works and how to make it. You're just going to need one to three totems one to infinite conveyors and one industrial chest and you could do this differently there are many designs but this is my design not my design but this is the design I use so now for the other people that don't even know how to get that well first of all I'm gonna start out with how to get totems you get totems by building over here and going to the hub portal which is right here and then you go to this guy and he sells totems that's how you get totems. You need coins, and if you don't have coins, you can't get totems. So save up coins. I recommend getting an onion totem or iron, because they make the most, but carrot is good too. Um, now, this is how you get the tier 3 workbench and all that stuff. You spawn with the t we spawn with the basic workbench, but if you can't, if you can't make one, if you don't spawn with one, then just have a friend make one, or just make it with five foot then from there you are going to need a tier 2 workbench which is crafted with this I'll put this stuff in the description for you guys um yeah that's how you get the tier 2 and then once you have the tier 2 you are going to have to craft a stone cutter and an anvil and what the anvil does is it gets steel rods and this is how you get them and this is the workbench tier 3 cra crafting and you might be wondering, what does the stone cutter have to do with it? Well, you need stone bricks. And if you put <clears throat> stone into the stone cutter, it makes bricks. And now, and then, you're going to need maple wood. And while that's going, I'm going to show you how to get maple wood. It's extremely easy, although you do need a thousand coins. So, if you go over to the seed guy, he sells maple wood, maple sapling for 1,000 coins. Farm that for a few minutes and you should have 20 before you know it. This is a very expensive project. Don't do it if you're just starting out. And as you can see, as you can see maple tree right here. And if I mine it, I get maple wood. Uh, let me just replant this. And... As you can see, stone bricks. It's a very boring process, I will say that, but you have to do it. Once you have that, you have all this stuff, you have the tier 3 workbench, you're going to need even more iron, because you're going to need to craft an industrial chest and a conveyor belt. The way that you get this is a medium chest, which is crafted with iron and wood planks, so you get wood planks, is you're going to need um, a sawmill. And if you put stuff, if you put stuff in, if you put any type of wooding, you need normal wood for this though. It turns into wood planks, and you get four per instead of one, so that's much better. Then once you have all of that, you should have all this, and the fair, and an 
industrial chest. You can make this, place down your totem, and then you'll be ready to go. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful for some of you. If you haven't so already, please subscribe. It's free and you can always change your mind later. As of now, this is how it is currently. I'll make a part two if it gets changed. That's all. More Skyblock videos coming soon. And goodbye.